<laughs> what in the world is all this slime? Slime? On my bike? What's going on here? Hey Frank, do you know what's going on here? My police car is covered in slime. Your Playmobil police car is covered in slime. My Playmobil police motorbike is covered in slime. What's going on here? Whoa, what was that? I'm getting inside the station. This is all getting a bit too weird for me. There's something really strange going on here today, guys. There's slime all over the police car, all over the police motorbike, all over the building. Just what's going on? Here he is on our security camera, putting all that green slimy stuff on the police car. I'll run a Google search. I think I found something, guys. Looks like he's a ghost. His name is Slimer. Uh, 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 say that again? A ghost? Looks like he's been terrorizing cities for months. I say we set a trap. We'll try and catch him with a net out front. Boo! Ah, uh, get away from me, ghost! <laughs> Lisa, it's just you. You scared me silly. Haha, <laughs> I got you good, Frank. Now let's go and catch this ghost. Okay, Frank. You lower him over here, and we'll throw the net on top of him. That's easy for you two to say. When you're up on top of that building, I'm the one who has to stand down here looking for the big ball of boogers. Get ready, Frank. Here he comes. Throw the net. Come on, get me out of here, guys. Great shot with the net, Lisa. Come on over, Frank. Get a better look at Slimer. No thanks, I'm getting out of here. Come on, Ricky, get moving into the station. Looks like you were very busy stealing cars, Ricky. You're gonna be here with us for a long time. I'm not gonna be here for a long time, cop. I'm gonna be out of here by tomorrow. We've heard enough out of you, Ricky. Come on, I'll take him straight up to his cell. Come on, move it along, Ricky. Come on, keep it going. See you later, Ricky. Ha ha ha. I'll be out of here in two hours, cop. Now, I just gotta move this bed. Oh, whoa, what's this thing made of? Ah, uh, 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 there you go. And there's my escape hatch, all ready to go. Now, I just gotta move this slab of concrete. Oh, this is heavy. Oh. What's all this banging coming from your cell, Ricky? I don't know what you're talking about, cop. Come on, don't play dumb with me, Ricky. I know you know what's going on here. What? And why is your bed over the other side of your jail cell? There's something going on in there, Ricky. What is it? There's nothing going on, cop. I was just moving furniture around. I like the bed over by the window. Okay. But I'll be keeping a close eye on you, Ricky. I'll be up here every 10 minutes, just to make sure there's nothing going on in there, Ricky, okay? Well, you can come back in 10 minutes, cop, but I'll be gone. <laughs> oh, I should have made this hole a little bit bigger to fit through. Oh, oh just near, oh, in there. Oh, oh no, the alarm. The cops are gonna hear the alarm. Attention all officers, there's an alarm going off at Ricky's cell. All available officers, straight to Ricky's cell. Right now, he's trying to escape. You've gotta be kidding me. Ricky's breaking out of prison already? He's only in there 20 minutes. Come on, let's go. Oh no, I can hear cops coming. I better get out of sight. That was too close. I gotta get out of here. And this looks like the perfect getaway vehicle. Oh, come on, start. What is wrong with this thing? Come on, bike, start. Oh, this thing won't start. I'm gonna get caught by the cops if I don't get out of here fast. Oh, come on, think, Ricky. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? This has to be my stupidest idea ever. But this bike won't start. Now I gotta take a push bike. Oh, I better get moving. Ah. Ah, ah, I'm gonna be here forever trying to get away from the cops. Well, I must say, in all my years being a police officer, this is my first time I've ever seen someone break out of prison and try and escape on a bike. <laughs> Come on, let's get the car and catch him. This should be easy. Uh, uh, oh. This is gonna take forever. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh.
Hey Ricky, come on, just stop the bike, would you? You can't get away. <laughs> come on, Ricky, pull that bike over. This is just embarrassing. <laughs> get away from me, cops. Come on, Ricky. Okay, come on, Ricky, you're going back to jail. I almost got away with it, cops. Uh, no, Ricky, you didn't. You didn't nearly get away with anything. We caught you easily. <laughs> You're on a bike. <laughs> the hole you made in the jail cell, Ricky. Very clever idea. But we filled it with extra quick-drying concrete. Now you'll never be getting out of this cell again. And that was a great idea, cop. Putting a hole in the cell to get out of here. Yeah, it was a good idea, Ricky. But now you're all out of ideas. And you won't be getting out of this cell for a long time. You just added an extra two years to your prison sentence for trying to escape. Hey guys, could someone pass me a pencil? Good morning class, today we're going to be doing some math, and I've written a number on the board. Can anyone tell me what the number on the board is? Ask me, 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 I know, I know, that's easy. Okay Billy, you've got your hand up, what's the answer? Yeah, that's easy, the answer is 4. Good job, maybe that was a bit too easy. Okay class, let's see how you get on with this next number. Who knows what this one is? Over ask here, me, ask over me, here. I know, ask I know, me, ask me, ask me, ask me, ask me, ask me, ask me, I know teacher, the answer, Miss White, I know. Okay, go ahead, Sarah, I can see your hand up over there. The answer is number three. That's right, the answer is number three. Looks like these are way too easy for you guys, so now I'm going to give you some math problems to do. Now, who can tell me the answer to this one? I know the answer, Miss White. Okay, go ahead, Anne, what's the answer? The answer is number 2. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Very good, Anne. Number 2 is the answer. Okay, guys, the next one is going to be a little bit harder again. Let's see if we can get this one. This time, children, I want you to write the answer down on your paper. And for you at home, you can write the answer in the comments below. What's the answer to 2 plus 2? Okay, children. And now I have a special guest coming in today. It's Officer Foley, and he's going to talk to you about being a policeman. Good morning, kids. Hi, Hi Officer, Officer Foley. Foley. So, class, does anybody have any questions for me today? I have a question, Officer Foley. Yeah, go ahead, Billy. Uh, do you like being a police officer, Officer Foley? Of course I do. I love being a police officer. Especially on days like today, when I get to visit you guys. I have a question, Officer Foley. Have you ever arrested anybody? Uh, yes, Anne. I've arrested people, but they were all bad guys. Who wants to come out and take a look at the police car? I've got it parked out front. Okay, let's go. Oh, wow, that is so cool. Officer Foley, can you turn on the lights and the siren? Yeah, no problem, Billy. I'll do that just when I'm leaving later on. Um, Officer Foley? What's your question, Anne? Uh, Billy and Tommy really want to be policemen when they're older. Will you take them for a spin in your police car? Whoa, that's a really nice thing to do for your friends, Anne. Billy, Tommy, do you guys want to go for a spin in the police car? Oh, oh, wow, really? yeah, that'd wow, be great. I can't believe awesome. it. Thanks, Anne. Thanks for saying that. Oh, oh wow, yeah, let's go great. get some bad yeah, guys, awesome. Officer Foley. Oh, yeah, look at us, Tommy. We're like real police officers. Okay kids, get your seatbelts on. Safety first. Hey Ben, what's that thing over there in the middle of the street? I don't know Billy, it looks like some kind of spray can. Maybe it's spray paint or something. Whoa, that sounds cool. Let's check it out. It's a spray paint gun. Wow, let's go write our name someplace. I don't know, Billy. It looks like we're going to get in a lot of trouble for this. Ah, uh, don't worry, Ben. It'll be fine. Now, let's find some place to go spray paint our names. I don't know, Billy. I really think we're going to get in a lot of trouble for this. Ah, uh, come on. Don't be such a fraidy cat. Come on, let's go. Okay. <coughs> what is it, Max? What do you see, boy? <coughs> oh, hey, police officer Roy. Hey, what's that in your hand, Billy? Looks like spray paint. What are you doing with spray paint? 
nothing. I'm not doing anything with it. I need to return it. Yeah, I need to return it back home. And why are you walking around with spray paint? No reason. I just gotta drop it home anyway. Well, okay. Make sure you drop it straight home, okay? Don't go messing about with that. You know, writing your names on stuff. <laughs> You're good kids. I know you wouldn't do that. No, sure we wouldn't. Of course we wouldn't. Okay, go on now. Run along. I'll see you later. Okay, please, off the right. See you later, Max. Okay, see you boys later. I sure am glad to be back at the police station. I've been driving around in that police car all day. Oh, I'm so hungry. Hope we're having hot dogs today. Maybe Irene is after making hot dogs. Hey, Ben, is he still looking at us? No, I don't think so. Hey, watch it, you two. Where are you guys off to in such a rush? Whoops, sorry for knocking you over, police officer Mike. Yeah, don't worry about it. Where are you two rushing off to? Uh, nowhere. We just have to get, uh, get back to, uh, Bill's house. Get back to Bill's house? What are you rushing there for? Shouldn't you two be in school? Uh, no, it's the holidays. We don't have school today. Oh yeah, silly me. Well, what's that in your hand, Billy? It's a, uh, it's a can of spray paint. What are you doing running around the streets with a can of spray paint for? I hope you're not spray painting stuff. No, no, of course not. I gotta get home with it. Make sure you get home fast. Don't be messing about with that stuff. Okay, I promise. I won't. Come on, Bill. Let's get out of here. Okay, police officer Mike. See you later. Yeah, I'll see you two later. Hey, come on, Billy. Let's just go home. Let's just forget about using the spray paint. No way. I'm not going home till we spray paint something. Now, come on. Let's just find something to spray paint. Hey, look at this. Let's spray paint the police car. No way, Billy. I'm not spray painting the police car. We're gonna get in a lot of trouble for that. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Let's do it. It'll be fun. Billy, come on. Oh, whoa, this is so cool. Billy, come on. Let's get out of here before we get into so much trouble because of this. I think I just made a big mistake. I shouldn't have wrote our names on a police car. You said it, Billy. We're in big trouble here. That was a great lunch, Roy. How lucky were we that Irene made hot dogs? Yeah, that was great. I think even Max liked the hot dogs. Didn't you, Max? <coughs> well, I guess we all better get back to work. No problem, Mike. Stay safe. See you later. Okay, you too, Roy. See you later, Max. <coughs> what the? Who's after spray painting the police car? Billy and Bill. Oh. Those two kids are in so much trouble. Wait till I catch those two kids. They're in big trouble. This school bus sure is dirty. Just get it clean here. Now I just get it. Oh, hey teacher. Hey Billy. Hey Bill. What are you two up to today? Oh, nothing. We're just walking around the place. What are you walking around with a can of spray paint for, Billy? I'm just dropping it home. Okay, make sure you drop it home fairly soon. Hey, hold it right there, Billy and Bill. I want a word with you two. What's going on, police officer Mike? These two are what's going on. Billy, Bill, do you know anything about somebody spray painting a police car today? Uh, no, no officer. We don't know anything about that. Oh no, it was sprayed in green spray paint. Is that a can of green spray paint you're holding, Billy? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah it is. You two are in big trouble. Come on, back to the police station. Oh. Oh no, are we being arrested? No, you're not gonna be arrested, cause you're just kids. But you are gonna clean a police car, and that's gonna take you a long time. Ah, oh, come on boys, you two should know better than playing with spray paint. Ah, uh, ah, uh, we're sorry. We were just trying to have some fun today. There's better ways to have fun, boys. You could kick a football or throw a ball or something. Come on, get moving, back to the station. Well guys. Hey, look at this. The cops left this motorbike outside. Might as well take this for a little spin. Hey, get back here. Where do you think you're going with that? Officer Foley, take one of the police cars and get after that guy. Okay, Sarge, on my way. Okay, Scraps, I'm gonna throw the ball for you and you're gonna fetch it, okay? <coughs> Yeah, get the ball, Scraps. This is Officer Foley in pursuit of the suspect. He's heading towards a populated area. Ha ha ha. You'll never catch me, cops. Yay, Scraps, get the ball, boy. There's a good boy. Hey, boy, quit licking me. He's a good boy. This is the police. Pull the bike over, Ricky. Pull the bike over. No way, cops. That's it, Scraps. Do your tricks. Walk on your back legs. There's a good boy. 
Pull the bike over. Come on, Scraps, come over here. You're standing in the road. Come here, boy. Come on, there's a good boy. Move, dog. Ah! Scraps! Oh no, I hit a dog. This is Officer Foley. The suspect has been apprehended. He's knocked down a dog in the middle of the street. We need to get an extra police car here. I'm going to take him to the vet myself. Hold it right there, Ricky. You're under arrest. Hang on, Scraps. You're going to be okay, boy. You're going to be just fine. Keep it moving, Ricky. Yeah, over to the police car. You're going straight to jail. Officer Lewis, you take Ricky straight to jail. I'll take care of Scraps. I'll get him to the vet. Scrap sure has been inside in the operating room a long time, Officer Foley. Yes, he has, Anne, but I'm sure he's just fine. Okay, Scraps, looks like we're going to have to give you some stitches on your side there, and you've got a fractured rib, but you'll be just fine, boy. Hi, Officer Foley. Hi, Anne. Yeah, Scraps is doing just fine. He's in recovery right now. We have to give him some stitches, and he had a fractured rib. Here, follow me, I can show you. You can see the fracture just on the side of his rib cage. But in a couple of weeks with some rest, he should be just fine, Anne. Okay, can I go and see him just for a second? Of course you can, Anne. But just for a minute, Scraps needs to rest. Oh, hey, Scraps. I'm so sorry for what happened to you, boy. Are you okay? He'll be fine, Anne. But you'll have to leave now, because Scraps needs to rest. But you can collect him in a week. He'll be just fine then. Oh, hey, boy. It's good to see you too. Well, thank you so much, doctor, for fixing my dog. Well, Anne, Scraps is going to be sore now for a little while after the knock he got. But we'll give you some medication and he'll be just fine in a few weeks. I'll do that, doctor. Thank you so much. Hey, guys. If you like this episode, please like. Great day for a fun day at the harbour today, sir, isn't it? It sure is, Roy, but we better keep our eyes peeled. Lex has been spotted around town. And you know, we got Ricky up in the jail here. We don't want Lex trying to break him out. Hi, can I get a balloon, please? No problem, son. Which one do you want? Um, a car balloon, please. Here you go, one car balloon. Thank you. No problem, kid. I gotta stay out of sight of the cops. And you, my friend, are gonna be my disguise. <clears throat> help me, help me, somebody help. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Whoa, looks like it came from down here. Lex the Jewel Thief, what do you want? I need you to give me that clown disguise that you're wearing. No way, Lex. I figured you were going to say that. Guess I'll have to take it then. Thanks for the suit, clown. Now, time to free Ricky. What do you want, clown? It's me, knucklehead, Lex. Lex? Why are you dressed like a clown? Forget that. It's a long story. Come on, I'm here to bust you out of here. The place is crawling with cops, Lex. How are we supposed to get out of here? You're a pilot, right? You're gonna fly us out of here. Oh no! All units, be on the lookout for someone pretending to be a clown! Come on Ricky, let's move! Ricky Lex, hold it right there! Come on Ricky, get that plane started, the cops are nearly here! Keep those hands in the air Lex, and shut that plane down Ricky, it's over! Sorry Lex, but I ain't going back to prison! That's my plane! He's not getting away from us that easy, Roy. Quick, grab the speedboat. Cut him off before he gets airborne.
Well, sir, at least we got Lex and Ricky back behind bars. Now we can carry on with the rest of our day. So, Ricky, you were leaving me behind on the docks, eh? Here, I got something.